Right here, I have the cutest little Lamazocco machine, the Micra. It's their smallest machine in the whole range from Lamazocco. Let's take a deep dive into what it has, its features, what's good, what we like, and some of the things we think could be improved. If you're a fan of our channel, you would have definitely seen us play with a lot of Lama Zocco gear, both in the commercial space and all of the previous home machines. So we've done a lot of reviews and we're really stoked to be able to have the Meek right here with us today. We're gonna to be covering things like what we like about it, uh, all the technical specs, and some of the things we think could be improved. So hopefully that gives you an idea as to whether this could be your next home machine. If you haven't already, please do like and subscribe to our channel. Look, hit the bell, you'll be notified when we put up our latest video. It really does help us grow and continue to produce content like this today. So thank you very much for your support already and go on, like it. Please do it right now. We really do appreciate it. Now, diving into it, let's just run through a couple of the technical specs. Because a lot of people think when you look at a big commercial machine and when you come down to something small like the Micra here, are there actually the right numbers adding up in terms of boiler size, water tanks, to actually make a good coffee compared to the commercial space? Now, I'm gonna answer that at the end of this video about the quality of this coffee in comparison to commercial gear. So, don't miss that one. But let's just run through a couple of the basics. Um, underneath the drip tray, you've got your two and a half litre water tank. Um, it can actually be plumbed as well if you want to because it does have a full rotary pump which gives you that nine bar pressure. Now, if you are gonna plumb this in, you have to get a special kit from Lumberzocco. You have to get filtration with that and I believe it has to be installed by a proper tech. So they really wanna make sure that the machine can give you the best quality. So consider that when you're looking at this machine. In terms of the machine itself, uh, it does have a dual boiler. You've got a 1.6 litre rear boiler that gives you your hot water and your steam and in the front here you have a 250 mil uh, brew boiler now they're all digital app controlled or PID you know control as you might think so you can change those as much as you like definitely download the home app subscribe to uh, their app and you'll be able to make all the changes in this machine you can change the rear temperature the front temperature you can have it turn on and off any particular time um, and there's a lot of other cool little tips in there so make sure you do get that app so with those specs in terms of the boiler the best thing about this machine is it can heat up in five minutes and that allows you to get great thermal stability and thermal mass into the brew head into your group handles and make coffee a lot quicker because a lot of people don't understand some of those heat up times that you might need with other machines but because there is a saturated group and boiler here in the machine it's definitely a huge win in terms of Lamazocco. Now that's across all of their range commercially, that's just something that's standard and that is, that is the one big thing that points a, a huge uh, tick for me across all of their range. You do get a full accessories pack from Lamazocco as well, so you get a milk jug, you get a group brush, a screwdriver to be able to take out your shower screens, you get your blind basket, some chemical there to make sure that machine is in great working order, cleaning the group head is definitely something you've got to do, you get the group brush to be able to give that a scrub out as well. Uh, you get two coffee baskets, the 14 gram and the 17 gram, and then you do get this lovely group handle. Now, it's definitely a huge talk talking point. It's a naked porter filter with a unique shape because it does have this rest here so that you can pop it straight onto the edge of a bench and tamp nice and flat if you need to, but it actually has a multi-purpose. So if we pop in our coffee basket, You've got that naked porter filter. That's definitely a huge plus in an entry level machine from any manufacturer. But they have gone one step further and they give you two of these little dividers. And basically, very, they'll just click straight in. Now that becomes a dual spout and you get the single spout as well. So you could be splitting that into two cups, whether it be an espresso, perhaps a latte, and you can then quickly change it if you wanted to go straight to a naked. So that's a really cool, um, interesting thing that has been introduced into the Lamazocco range. You do get this beautiful 58 mil, a heavy tamper as well. So you've basically got all the things to start off, including a small milk jug. There is a bit of a redesign on how the Micra has its water tank underneath. And it is definitely a better way because you can access the water tank without having to um, unplug a hose that you could never get undone. So you've got double options there. You can either fill in by a little removing of a cap or you can actually pull the water line out, take the whole container away and fill it up or wash it if you need to. 
and you still then have a massive drip tray. And that's something Lamazocco do really well across all of their ranges. They have the biggest drip tray, so you can fill this thing up over five or six days, and then you can finally empty it. A nice little touch is when it is full, you'll see there's two little red tabs that will float up and let you know that it's about to overflow. You do get the full cool touch wand here, which is the stainless steel wand. And there is an absolute powerhouse of steam there, which I'll come back to in a second. You've got the nice um, soft touch sort of hot tap and steam wands, um, which are just the quarter turns basically to get max power. Um, and we do have a new look and feel, um, I guess heritage, you know, look back onto the manual paddle. It's a full redesign of what they used to have on old machines. And I think they've done it really nicely. They've managed to uh, reinvent this with the integrated power button. So that'll flash at you when it's heating up um, or the water tank. So when it's full, it'll be blue. If it's empty, it's gonna flash at you. So it's really nice how they've managed to integrate that in a much nicer look and feel and aesthetic that suits this little micro. Design is something that the Italians do really well and the team at Lama Zocco just pride themselves on making beautiful looking machines. Now the Micra sits at the lowest end of the, the range. Uh, the next one up is the new Mini, which is a rebuild option. And then above that, you have the Classic S. Now, all of those three machines have the same look and feel. You've got this angled design panel and that classic um, look that the Classic had, which is the original linear classic machine um, that the whole brand has been built from over the many years. So that you see those three different things replicated across all the different models now. So years ago, when Lamazocco brought in the Mini, we thought, wow, this thing's tiny compared to a commercial machine. Well, the Micro just takes it to the next level. You've got 34 centimeters high, you've got 29 wide, and you've got 39 deep. So that is so tiny for a machine that absolutely packs a punch. Well, how do they do it? Well, typically Lamazocco boilers are horizontal. What they've done now is flip it to a vertical and that allows them to keep it more narrow and really just jam everything in there as well. Uh, with the rotary pump, you can have access to vary that as well. It's a little bit trickier. You've got to take a top off and get access, but you can do that as well. So you've still got the flexibility and the power of the big machine in this cute little tiny machine. Now, Lamazocco talk about portability and taking a coffee machine wherever you want to go. The Mika is only 19 kilos, so that is definitely a manageable weight for you to pop in your caravan or take it to your mate's place for a weekend or if you're going to an Airbnb. So it is a good option to be able to maneuver this machine around quite easily at that weight. Diving a little bit deeper into the technical things that they're doing inside the machine. The um, app allows you to have pre-brew and pre-infusion. Now this gets people a lot but the simplest thing I can say to you is pre-brew is basically the only option you have when you don't have this plumbed in. Pre-infusion happens when you've actually got the machine plumbed in and it's because of the line pressure that is being applied onto the coffee puck. Now you can adjust that inside the app um, for those settings to whatever which way you're going to have the machine set up. I myself like pre-infusion, but if I can't get access to it, I'm happy with pre-brew. So, you know, either way, you've got a couple of options there and plenty of flexibility to make a great espresso. Well, that's enough talk about all the tech specs. So let's make a coffee and I'll tell you a bit more about the machine and what it's like to actually use the Micra. So I'm gonna remove the porter filter here and dive into a little bit more as to this design. It is handy to have a removable double spout and have access to a smaller, um, naked porter filter. Lamazocco say that because this is smaller, it's easy to get thermal mass in there and with the five minute quick heat up, you can be brewing coffee a lot quicker. If this was all part of the handle as it used to be, it takes a lot more heat and energy to get this up to temperature. Anyway, let's make a bit of a coffee and see what you think. I'm using the Pico over here. It pairs really nice with this machine. Um, I'm just gonna get an 18 gram dose out of it. There you go, just on the Pico, nice fluffy light grind. It's um, pretty quiet and very easy to use. There's, there's nothing really hard and no LCD screens. So a couple of button presses and you're ready to go. Um, just do a bit of a collapse on this coffee. A little bit of a distribute. Now, if you did have a WDT on those things, definitely spend a bit more time on your puck prep. 
I'm just trying to give you, I guess, that raw experience that you'd have. Now, they do have the curved tamper. Now, myself personally, I love a flat tamper. So maybe you wanna go and get yourself a different one. If you're using any sort of puck, puck screen or any other device, they're not gonna match up. So there's a couple little technical things there, um, but definitely if you're a novice, having this curve actually makes it easier to make a better coffee because it makes the water go towards the middle of the puck, essentially falling into the spouts. And it's a bit of a, I guess a false economy really. So we'll pop in this, this handle and um, we'll make just a latte. So you can see what the extraction is gonna look like through this naked head. So we're just gonna use our KS scale and tear that off and we'll start to brew. So we've got 18 grams of coffee. We're just gonna do a one-to-one -one extraction here. Now, you may notice that this is a normal Akea scale. Now, part of the conversation is you can have the Lamazoco Cobe branded and uh, collaborated Akea scale. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with the Micra. It does work with the Mini. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to look to pair with a nice scale. Okay, so just a smidge over there on the recipe. But we definitely have got a really rich, full flavored, very aromatic espresso in a one-to-one -one extraction out of that 18 gram basket. It's thick, the consistency I'd expect from a Lamazocco. It's got a great, great acidity and a little bit of brightness to it still as well. This is our delicate blend, so a little bit more fruit focused and uh, a little bit more acidity in it as well. It's a bit of a lighter roast uh, organic product that we have. So that's actually pretty much on the mark. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's have a look at what the puck looks like. I didn't do a whole heap of preparation there. There is a little bit of water on the top of that puck you might see. And there's definitely a spot where the shower screen has hit there. The, the grind has expanded uh, as water was added to it. Um, and there's definitely a lot of headroom. It's, it's a little bit, um, little bit soft there, but I don't mind that. I don't mind the puck being able to expand and bloom. The one thing I would add here is a 21 gram basket. It's what we have commercially, and it allows me to replicate the commercial extraction recipe. So 22 and a half grams um, uh, to, to two to one, basically getting us our 45 grams yield that the cafes all do. So if you really want that cafe experience, grab a bigger basket, change your dose, and you'll be able to achieve that quite easily. So what's the steaming like? Well, this is something that just keeps blowing me away. The steam power of this is phenomenal. So I'm just gonna give this a bit of a purge. This is a 1.6 liter boiler, and I've played on a lot of HX machines that have 1.8 liters. This at 1.6 is just phenomenal. This is just crazy amount of steam and pressure. So. Look at that, it made a bit of a mess, but it just shows you that Lamazocco just seemed to do this right. And that's one thing that really impresses me about the Mini and the Micra here is the steam quality is fantastic. It's dry and it's super powerful. So it is something you might have to get used to. Um, one little thing I didn't like is this is a much shorter section of steam wand. So I think they could have kept it a bit longer, but I, I can see that it's gonna hit the drip tray. So a little bit of a, a compromise perhaps there. Um, so if you are using a bigger jug, it does get a bit awkward, but if you're only making one cup at home, this is the right jug you should be using. So I guess that makes sense. Let's just show you how good this works. So get ready for the power because it's just gonna get that jug going wild really quickly. Make sure you practice this, get it in the right spot, get it spinning. Lower it down to get a little bit of a hiss now. You can see that small jug I'm right up against here. That's the, the thing I was talking about before. I just feel like I don't have enough control sometimes. But that is hot within oh, maybe six seconds. You've got to be able to stretch the milk and get it all swirling back in. So uh, don't go changing the, the tip, but maybe you need to chuck a toothpick in there if you're not quite up to it, but definitely just practice. Once you can get that uh, used to that pressure, you'll make that beautiful silky <laughs> milk like this and, uh, and you'll be pouring out amazing latte out very quickly. All right, so we're just gonna pour out a bit of a latte here. It's a beautiful jug that Lamazocco give you. Now I've absolutely stuffed that as a pattern to be honest, cracking under pressure. <laughs> but anyway, it does happen to the best of us. 
So it's nicely uh, froth though. We do have the right amount of froth here. We've got a good blending there. Um, perhaps, uh, you know, maybe I need to learn a bit more <laughs> skill in performing in front of the camera when I pour out. Now at the start of the video, I did say, hey, does a Micra make the same quality coffee as a commercial machine? My answer is yes, it certainly does. If anything, the steam is better on this machine. You've got a lot of uh, flexibility and control in terms of temperature. So you can dial this in really, really good. And there is no compromise compared to a commercial machine. So that's my honest opinion. I think it's fantastic. I think Lamazocco do that so well. And that's why you do have perhaps a more expensive price tag. There is no compromise in this machine, how they do it, the build quality, the parts, all of those things are there to make sure that you as a consumer can get that cafe experience in home and the Mika is certainly going to do it. So there you go, there's my two cents. Thanks so much everybody. I hope you enjoy the review and the breakdown of the Micra. It's been long awaited for me. I've been wanting to play with it. Um, it's small, cute, and really pretty. I, I think it's a very nice machine. So um, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments down below and I'll happily answer those. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'd certainly appreciate it. Thanks very much for watching everyone. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.